Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J. Judah, and today we are going to have a little Halloween fun and make this Mickey pumpkin po coaster, if I can speak. I'd like to say thank you to Mark who sent it to me via Facebook Messenger, and as you can see, it is a simple construction. It's three round coasters and then added two leaves. The original poster of the coasters <laughs> is Amanda White Mainville, and I'll pop up her uh, Facebook page right here too. And she doesn't do it because in the uh, initial picture it says that she wished she could. So I'm not sure who the originator is. Uh, you could probably Google it and, and find out. I'm sure there's many tutorials out there, but we're just going to see if I can recreate this picture. Now, obviously, the Mickey pumpkin part is going to be the easiest. It's the leaves that I'm going to have the issue with because I haven't made leaves in a really long time and I've never made the little skinny leaf. So that should be interesting. Uh, obviously, let's let's talk yarn now. I am using Red Heart Super Saver and of course I'm using the color pumpkin. <laughs> Love that. I mean it's one of my favorite colors ever. And then I'm not sure what this one is called. It's also Red Heart Super Saver might be sage I'm not sure but I really like this green I really it's a, as opposed to a true green I really like this muted green so these are our colors I'm loving it I'm gonna go ahead and get the Mickey part done first and then I will start to try and work on the leaves. I'm going to be using my H8 five millimeter crochet hook and let's go ahead and get started.
now it's time for the leaves. Wish me luck. I'm going to try to remember how to do one. something like a leaf could use a little more practice and it's I'm doing this just solely by memory it'll work <laughs> now to try and figure out how to do the smaller one Well, that was simple. <laughs> now let's assemble. All right, so we've got all our pieces. We have our ears, our face, our big leaf, and our little leaf. Now we need to, excuse me, now we need to just assemble them. Did you notice my mistake with my first ear? I'll give you a second to to comment. What was my mistake on my first ear? If you guessed, I forgot to leave the tail to attach it to the face or the, yeah, then you guessed correct. First ear, no tail. Second ear, I left my tail so that I can attach it to the face. And I'm throwing my... Ugh, excuse me. That's okay. We've got plenty of yarn to attach it with. But yes, I should have left a tail to attach my yarn. But that's okay. That's okay. We all make mistakes.
cute. I absolutely love it. I'm not sure why I thought that it looked like it had single crochets all the way around each of the, uh, the ears and the face part, but I did. And obviously that causes the curl because it's the start of the bucket hat, if you will, or the tube. Anyways, I think if I were to do this again, which I probably will, because I totally could see these being like ornaments, maybe doing a, a, a little smaller, like this being the, the face part and then doing just a, a single row to make the ears. I don't know. We'll see. And then I still need to practice because I really haven't learned how to do the leaves fully. I did okay. Um, it looks cute, I think. It has a hole in it, but I think it looks cute. And I don't know if this is supposed to be the stem part of the pumpkin or if it's also uh, a leaf. But anyways, it was super simple. All I did was I chained a few and then did uh, slip stitches back into it. So I chained four and then did three slip stitches back to the bottom to create the thickness. And yeah, I think it's pretty cute. Um, I will definitely say leave your uh, tails long enough so that you can really stitch it in there so it's not going to go anywhere. It is a little flimsy if you, <laughs> if you notice. But if I were to do this smaller, it might not be as flimsy, so the ornament aspect of it would be probably cute. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks again, Mark, for bringing this to my attention. I really think it's adorable. And uh, yeah, let me know. Are you going to make your own Mickey version? Mickey version? Your own Mickey coaster? What other ideas do you have? This is so cute. I love it. Anyways, if you did like this video, I would love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, I would love to have you subscribe and click all on the notification bell. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys. Thank you.